What you've also got within the link software is some tabs down the side. I'm going to start at the bottom. We've done the media search. Websites is basically a built-in web browser. It's default Google, but you can change that yourself. You've got a settings menu here. You've got bookmarks, etc. So let's search Clever Touch. And now what we've got is, like I said, it's basically a web browser. Find what we want. And what it means is you can have your lesson content on one side. I'm just going to go through the pages that we've gone through already. Maybe that is useful content for your students. And now I've got my web browser, my website that I use as part of my teaching with my students. What you can do in with this as well, if you want to just grab a little bit of content off this website, I've got a capture tool and it brings up a snippet functionality. So I can just change the size of whatever it is I'm going to capture. Click on the green tick. And as you can see, that's now placed it on my page, ready for me to use as part of my lesson at that point. Clever content tab. This would be my own gallery area. So if I wanted to save that photo, I could just drop it in here. I can change the size of that if I can't see what's in there. But again, it's now going to do an infinite replicate for me at that point. So I could use that for the uh, students' photos. Maybe they want to self-answer with their photo, register, clubs, etc. It could be for literacy purposes, timers, etc.